Hi everyone, so first video review for this week is for Destiny of Hearts by Karen Klein. Um, I have just posted my Goodreads review so if you want to check that out, um, if you are on Facebook or on my blog there is a link in the post and if you are on YouTube there is a link in the description below. And this is the video review. So Destiny of Hearts by Karen Klein is the third instalment in her opening in time um, trilogy and I really can't believe this is the final instalment. Um, Caitlin's returned to Acacia after spending time in Cheshire where she originally came from um, but she's returning without Tannis and she uh, she brings new people to the community but she also brings some news and um, a part of her will always belong to Tannis and I think if you've read the trilogy you'll know as a reader that what their, their connection and their relationship was but um, when when she returns to Keisha, she's she's looking to the future and she's slowly adjusting back into life there in the community. But of course, Beren, who um, is Tannis's sister, her twin, uh, she isn't overly welcoming to Caitlin's return um, and the news about Tannis. Uh, so the tensions are really high, and they still have this this attraction between them, Beren and Caitlin. Um, this acknowledgement of emotions and that makes things extra complicated for them both um, so it's kind of a second chance romance with a difference um, I just love the imagination that Karen has poured into the trilogy she really has taken time to build um, a fascinating world and community where everything is just different and um, the way they have to learn about what Caitlin's bringing to uh, Acacia and um, different different way of life basically because Caitlin she has all these things from her original life back in Cheshire and she's introducing it to them and she has been throughout the whole trilogy and of course the third book is no exception because she's come back with different news uh, she's got her children she's um, bought her mum so there's more for them all to learn and I also love like the underlying moral that Karen built into this third instalment as well which is that it was never too late for love Caitlin and Beren they may have had their differences and they may have fallen out and they may have a really tense relationship um, but they still have feelings for one another and they're a little bit in denial but they they know that they need to move forward to the future and it takes them a long while to get there so it's kind of slow burn in that respect um but they they are working on that um throughout the book um even if Beren is being a little bit of a um what do you call it <laughs> and I mean it's a nice example of how someone can bring you together Tannis meant so much to both of them and she's kind of still bringing them together in spirit and everything um and it was truly wonderful. So I love the way that Karen's concluded this in such a sweet way. And um, especially with the community, they're, they're still very much a big part of Caitlin's life and learning about things Caitlin brings them. So I just wish there was more because the book <laughs> is the final instalment and I'm going to really miss Keisha and the, the community and Caitlin and everyone. I mean, I miss Tannis in this book and then I'm like, there's going to be no more. Um, and I know there's so much more going on in this this little universe of Keisha and I would love to see more from them in the future hopefully um, even if it's like little tidbits and novellas and short stories it would be awesome um, but we'll wait and see but it was really uh, it was really great like the way it was all concluded it was concluded nicely and um, you're not left questioning it or anything it's it's really just a nice way to end a really sweet trilogy um, with a lot of like thought-provoking um, and fascinating themes so Caitlin you know she definitely she's one of these characters that I've just loved her since the first book she's so different and the way she interacts with her friends and and the family she's made in Keisha and you know it really is really interesting watching her interact with people who don't know about a world that is unknown to us but known to us in in a different guise um, and so it's like the same place but just everything's different and it fascinates them as much as it fascinated me as a reader and even though I knew what Caitlin was talking about it was still brilliant to see the way she was explaining things and telling them about life in Cheshire and the differences between there and, and Keisha so I love the way she simplifies things they find hard to process and she just delivers it in a way all bubbly and happy and she really brings a lot of positivity to the story she's really like just so positive and happy and it makes you feel positive and happy when you're reading it um even when there was tension between her and Beren you know it really helped to drive the plot and um Caitlin was always positive like she she was in a, on a journey for a new life and a future and you know it fed the relationship filled full of hope but there was lots of angst just to really drive home you know 
love. Love is weird, it works in mysterious ways, and that was a brilliant sort of example in this book. Um, and I really loved it. It was truly unique and a fantastic example of world building um, and just a brilliant read. Um, so I'll pop a link in the description so you can go and grab a copy of Destiny of Hearts by Karen Klein. Um, if you've read Destiny of Hearts, please let me know. Please come and talk to me about it. If you've read the trilogy as well, it would be awesome uh, to know what you thought of it and um, just what your thoughts were basically on Caitlin and Keisha. And will you miss the trilogy now? Because I know I will. Um, knowing that there's no more to come, I will really, really miss it. Um, but I'm sure we'll see great things from Karen because she really has a lovely way of bringing stories to life. Um, if you haven't read it yet, if it's on your to-read list or you're planning to read it or you're now interested in reading it, again, please let us know because it's always great to hear what you're interested in reading. And if you do read it, I really, really hope you enjoy it. Bye!